All righty, folks. So it's been a couple of days since we've done a Palantir stock update, and you might have thought that I forgot about you guys, but don't worry. I did not forget about you guys. We're going to break down Palantir stock in this video, go over the charts, key levels, how it's doing today, and go over how it's slowly starting to reverse. We're going to break down my thoughts on everything in this video. So if y'all find value, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter. If you guys want to connect a bit further, make sure to go follow me on there at StaSurfest or Stas Talk Stocks. You'll find me on Twitter, guys. And if you want some free stocks from Moomoo, why not? Use that link down below or simply go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo. You can get up to 16 stocks, each up to $2,000 and the clock's ticking, guys. Use that link down below. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So Palantir stock right now is at $15 on the dot. Look at that. $15 on the dot, up 3.5% right now when I'm making this video at about 11.30 a.m. on the East Coast. It is up 50 cents so far on the day. And you guys can see on the intraday chart, if I pull it up, then we'll peel back the layers a bit, guys. Bear with me here, right? If I pull up the intraday, take a look at this, guys. We have been ripping pretty much all day. And granted, there's been a lot of volatility, but the uh, the direction has been uh, bullish, right? Overall, we can see in the pre-market, we were chopping around, uh, you know, 1475, 1485, roughly 1480, right in that ballpark. Then once the markets open pretty much in the first minute or two, Palantir ended up shooting right through the pre-market highs. It ran past 15 and it ran all the way to $15.30 or, or not 30 cents, 13 cents. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Then we saw a pretty decent pullback followed by a spike, which you guys can see here. We actually uh, hit a lower high on that spike. Boom. So we had that uh, spike, that, that second pump. Then we pulled back, but we made a higher low on that pullback, right? You can see uh, this pullback right here. Boom. We held a higher low and then we exploded through the moving averages. And the, uh, the second we took out the highs from roughly 10, 20 a.m. on the East Coast on that second pump, when we took the highs out, which that happened at about 11 a.m., so about 25, 30 minutes ago, that's when the bulls really started to gain uh, control, at least on the intraday chart, right? That's where the uh, momentum started to break back. Um, you know, to the upside, momentum started to shift in the favor of the bulls. And now we're starting to go to the intraday high, which if, you know, if we take that point out, maybe at some point later today, uh, which would be great for the bulls, uh, that's where we could get some more upside. So I'm going to set my alert at $15.15 on the intraday here, right above, a little bit above that high on the intraday chart. And I'm telling you guys, that's the spot where if we, uh, if we break that point on Palantir, uh, we could start pushing more on this five day, five minute, which we're already starting to reverse on. We're seeing slight signs of that right now. We can see we are above the moving averages. We do have a, a golden cross on this five day, five minute on Palantir, which is great. And with today's move, we're above the highs, not only from uh, yesterday, right? But also from the day before the day before yesterday, we hit what 14, uh, 55, 14, 60, something like that. Yesterday we hit, uh, 1480. Now we're above 15. We're taking those highs out, which is good. We're slowly starting, um, to reverse back to the upside here. And if we break 15, 15, which is the intraday from today, that's where we could fill this gap, maybe towards, uh, the higher 15s, 1575, 1580, that's the next gap that could potentially, keyword is potentially, fill. Nothing's guaranteed, of course, guys, in the stock market. And you can see here on the 10-day, 30-minute chart, we're above the moving averages as well. We're slightly above, not fully breaking out, but we're getting there. And this shows you even more how important it is. It is imperative for Palantir to break 1515, then follow that up with a break above, uh, let's just say 16 bucks in general, which I'll set another alert at 16. Boom. Which if we start getting out of there, guys, full reversal could be uh, in store, at least in my personal opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And keep in mind, we're not quite yet above the 180 SMA on the 20-day, one-hour chart, although we are above the 50 SMA. Uh, so keep that in mind. We're not quite yet above all the moving averages on all time frames, but we're slowly starting 
to build that momentum. And if we do break 16 bucks, guys, like I mentioned on the five day, the 10 day on the 20 day chart, that would be putting us over the 180 moving average. And that'd be uh, pretty much ideal for the bulls. That's what the bulls need to see at this point in time, at least in my uh, personal opinion. And if I pull up the four hour chart, let me show you guys this. We're under the moving averages, both uh, of the moving averages on this time frame, guys. So we're not quite yet reversing on the four hour, but what we are seeing, which is good for the bulls in the very short term, is buying come in at $13.75 to about $14 per share. That's really big considering that was the low from the end of June. And I mentioned to you guys, look, if Palantir breaks under that point, technically speaking, we have some down, uh, you know, more downside to go. That's what I thought, right? And I still think that if we do end up going back to test 1375, 14, and we break that, I mean, I mean, we could potentially go to 10, 11 bucks from there. Uh, but it looks like we did get the buying pressure to come in at 14, which is good. Buyers came in in general. That's nice. And now we have to see if we do get the full breakout, like I've said throughout this video, uh, which 16, that's really the big spot that needs to break 16, 16, 50. And uh, we'll see how that, uh, how Palantir reacts as it gets closer and closer to that point. So yeah, guys, that's a quick breakdown here on Palantir stock. It looks like it's trying to break out, uh, but not fully there yet. And let me see some other names that are doing pretty well right now. Airbnb is up on the day. It's up 2% when I'm making this video, and it's currently about 11.30 a.m. Keep that in mind. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, and mind you, that's 11.30 a.m. on the East Coast, guys. And Airbnb is one that's beaten down pretty aggressively like Palantir, right? This is one that had too big of a rally. Uh, it had a crazy rally. I mean, from 105 all the way to 154, that was a 45% move in the span of about two months. And now we've come down a good amount, about $30 from 154 to 124, roughly down 30 bucks, uh, 20% in a bear market. We're pretty beaten down. And arguably, we have a bullish divergence slowly starting to form here on Airbnb. So look, Uptrend overall still holding on this uh, time frame, right? Now I'm pretty much just waiting for the full on reversal, which I could nibble a little bit here if I wanted to, guys. That's the way I like to, you know, trade, especially when it comes to swing trading. Let's say, for example, I, you know, want to buy and hold for a couple of weeks or whatever. I like buying a little bit at first, a starter position, maybe 10, 15 percent, you know, percent of the overall position size, uh, then go from there. And maybe I'll nibble a little bit. I'm not, uh, I haven't really decided quite yet if I want to for sure on Airbnb, but I'm pretty dang close, guys. I'm pretty dang close as it is at a spot where, uh, to me at least, it's looking pretty juicy. There could be some good money to be made here uh, if we do get that bounce. Keyword is if. We don't know. I mean, nothing's guaranteed, of course, in the stock market, guys. Keep that in mind. So, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button and feel free to consider subscribing, guys, and to follow me on Twitter if you guys want to. I mean, hey, if you want to, you know, follow me on Twitter, connect on there, see all the posts. I'm way more active on Twitter these days. Make sure to do that down below or just go on Twitter, type in StossRFest or Stoss Talk Stocks. You'll find me on there, guys. And feel free to get up to 16 stocks from Moomoo, Moo, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And mind you guys, each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars unbelievable and if you fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which makes this promo a no-brainer so get on it guys use that link down below and with that being said cheers i'll see you later